in this video I'm going to be explaining why <clears throat> Antonio Batista is wrong in regards to him trying to argue that us Dominicans slash Quisquianos is a primarily uh, Spanish ethnic group meaning you know having a relationship with Spain okay this would be him as well as some people in the Italian community over extending their Taino ness in this example Antonio Batista is over extending his European ancestry I would challenge him to show again his 23andMe results most importantly his haplogroups because I'm sure he has African haplogroups okay now he uses this argument in regards to um, explaining the conflict on the island which is an economic one a social and economic one between Haitians and Dominicans in this video I am not going to be discussing about that in this video I'm going to primarily be discussing about <clears throat> our ethnic identity and ancestry as it relates to Dominicans slash Quisquianos okay The other thing is, when it comes to Antonio Batista, he would argue that uh, us Dominicans slash Quisquianos are not uh, multiracial. This would be largely due trying to argue from the fact that um, Dominicans slash Quisquianos don't have any African ancestry, largely due trying to separate anything that has to do with being Haitian. Now, this is bad in my opinion because it promotes identity politics and it also makes it difficult to explain about the problems that's going on on the island. And this is where the race bait comes in and it makes it very difficult to explain the issue, which there are a lot of responsible uh, Kiskianos that are really trying to educate uh, people in due regards. Okay, so I'm going to review a few things that I mentioned already in previous vi videos while other while also adding uh, other emphasis in regards to what I'm talking about here. Okay, uh, quick recap. Okay, us Dominicans as Quisquianos, we are largely made up of the native population on the island that mix with the arriving European and African that arise that arrived post 1492. Okay, and this gave rise to a new hybrid hybrid group, which is us uh, Dominicans slash Quisquianos. Okay, now the difference between us and Haitians. Where we are a heterogeneous ethnic group, meaning we are a diverse ethnic group. You know, any Dominican who take a DNA test, whether it would be with uh, 23andMe or Ancestry, which are the most comprehensive in my opinion, it will show how diverse we are as an ethnic group. The major difference is uh, with 23andMe, they showed that ancestry timeline. And the great thing that I liked about it, which I explained already, you know, they're able, you can see like when the admixture came in. And this is what, what Jerry brings up, it's called inter, introgression, okay? And that tells us when uh, a certain ancestor uh, mixed in, okay? Now in regards to Haitians, Haitians are a homogeneous ethnic group, okay? And so this would be the scholarly basis to explain that they are primarily of African descent with minimal European ancestry. And this is because both nations on the island evolve differently, okay? For historical reference. 
Now, <clears throat> us Kiskianos, we do have a lot of African culture, but the difference is between us and Haitians, we are very idiosyncratic, meaning our culture reflects the unique blending of the native, the European, and the African together, okay? And this, the great, great example is seen with this is in bachata and also merengue, okay? Even through linguistics, with Haitians being Afro-Franco and us being Spanish-speaking, you know, we are still uh, a very unique because of our cultural blend. Okay, so all this emotionalism, you deleting comments because uh, you don't want to deal with a fellow Kiskiano that's trying to uh, point to you about science, okay? Because that's going to help people to move forward to understand things better and to deal with things responsibly, okay? That's how we move forward, not you being emotional and <clears throat> being denial of our admixture, okay? I challenge you, Antonio Batista, show your DNA report. Show your hypergroups, okay? I guarantee you got an African hypergroup, okay? My grandparents, all right, they have African and European hypergroups. Best example with my grandfather, okay, he has paternal and maternal African hypergroups, but his report shows that he has direct Native American ancestry, and that's due to our ancestors mixing with the native populations, okay? And this is through science. So in order to understand you, the viewer, in order to understand the conflict that's in the island, we have to know that both sides had a different evolution in terms of mixing and then also in terms of economics and that both nations are distinctive from the other. I think it would be silly to deny that we have African ancestry, but it's important to note that, um, that we have a unique uh, evolution that makes us distinctive from Haitians, okay? And this is not being uh, racist. This is being factual, okay, in a responsible way. So this is all for now. Uh, comment in the description down below. Let's be objective. Let's be scientific. Let's be responsible. And until the next build.